What is going on, everybody? Welcome back for Vlogmas today. Today, we are going to be reviewing uh, my 2022 season. I'm just going to be going through the tournaments I played, give a little details about them. I'm just going to go through it. So, we'll start off with the first tournament of the season that I played. It was, uh, shoot, I don't even... I don't even remember what it was called. The first Brockport Disc Golf Tournament or something. So, this was in early March. This course in Sweden gets very muddy. It's no tee pads. We played an alternate layout almost. We played the back nine. Plus a few other holes. And, uh, didn't, sh didn't start so hot right here. Had a 40, started with a 47. I can't remember what par was. I want to say that was a one over. Sure, we'll go with the one over. I think it was 46 par. Now I was playing with my boy John. And he, he, he lit it up. But then, second round, came back. Had my boy AJ with me that time. Shot a 43. John, unfortunately, 48. Take the dub on that one for the MA2. Also, shout out my boy Team Money. A little MA3 win right there. This is, a, this is an unsanctioned event. That's why I got this. So, yeah, that was a good, that was a good way to start the year, to be honest. Uh, I felt confident coming in just from the work. And, like, that's my, literally my home course. So, I felt like I should have won. And I won, unfortunately, due to John. Now, we get into... Our sanctioned events. So after this, I was like, okay, I won an intermediate tournament. Not sanctioned. Not a lot of people there. So I'm like, I'm going to run it up with another intermediate tournament. Boom. Rock City Open at Riverton Disc Golf Course. Took home a dub. This one, it was like, shot one over. Not the best. It doesn't feel great to win when you're over par, but a win's a win. So we started... I started decent after round one. I'm back. We this is this is when I was in my chase card era. Don't start hot first round. I'm at plus two. Get on a card with my boy John for second round. He trolled at uh this hole to get on my card. Round two. Shot a shot a one under to get to plus one. It was just it was just a clean round. This these two tournaments, I was like, okay, I won these tournaments, but I didn't play well. Like there was a lot of shots that I left out there and I like, didn't throw the best. Um, I f unfortunately didn't par twelve either time, which would have been cool. But I like I, I didn't f I felt like I was kind of given the wins. Like I obviously I played good in the second rounds, but I felt like. I wasn't being challenged enough. Not even like in a confident dick way or a cocky dick way, but I just felt like, all right, we went back to back at intermediate. The year prior, I own, I took second at a wreck, and now I'm back to back intermediate. So, boom. We head back. Next tournament, Webster face off, kick me in the mouth. Now this again, I wasn't playing bad. This is how I should have been finishing in intermediate, but since it was intermediate, I won. This one I only finished at a plus one or a plus two. Where we at James Maloney plus three, but at that at Webster you have to score, and I just wasn't scoring. It was I wasn't throwing the best shots, and I was just getting up and down, and I'd miss a putt for something, and I just wasn't scoring well. And, for, like, that tournament gets in my head, too, because I also, my dad's house around Webster, so that's, like, my second, my second home uh, course. So, that one I liked, I would like to do well. Past two years, haven't done well, next year we going to get it. Then we get to Chai Life Flex Start. Weeks leading up to this, I'm confident. We're playing Chai Life, I'm scoring, like, two under. Like, averaging around 200 to even. Man, this flex start comes around. I play... It's on a car with my boys. We got John. 
we got AJ and we got T Money. The wind, crazy. Like 20 mile an hour winds. Just wasn't an enjoyable tournament. None of us played good. I did have probably the craziest throw in of my life on nine. Uh, it was like, I don't know. It was, it'd be hard to describe it without being there. So yeah, it took, took 17th. Then boom. First advance win of my life. Rock the freedom. Farmer Wood. Oh wait. Oh shoot. Getting ahead of myself. Lakeside life is good. This first tournament I played like by myself with none of my boys there. I went. My first round was clean. I mean, Rob was killing everybody. So, it wasn't really much I could have done to win this tournament. But, my first round, where am I at? Plus four. I was plus one until six. Six was my last hole. I took an eight. Doing stupid stuff. Trying to get an eagle. Just not necessary. You take your five, whatever. Like you take a five, I gain strokes on all these people right here at the bottom half. But I'd be plus one, and I would only be. I mean, I'd be a decent amount of back from second, but Rob was killing shit, and he ace nine. And then second round was just a crapshoot, kind of. There was like points where we would we were at. And the OBs were different from what the, the live scoring said. Uh, we had the TD coming out saying, like, retroactively, we had shots that were out of bounds. It was just kind of a shit show, that tournament. Uh, the, condition, the conditions for playing those two courses were actually the best conditions you could ask for. There was literally no wind. Um, and, the, and those are two courses, especially on Windrush, that you have to score. And I just was not scoring. Uh, cause we played Windrush Whites, I believe. Or Blues? No, we played Blues. So now, moving on to Rock the Freedom. This, hey, little pop-off tournament. Psych, just kidding. This is, again, another tournament where I, like, I didn't play good. Like, I didn't take the win, really. Uh, first round, it was... It was straight. I shot two under... And, you know, farmers, like, there's some, there's some soft holes, there's some ones you just, you can just get, like, uh, four, I think, if I remember. But, yeah, so I got a lead card. I played with, uh, this dude from Jomas, too, Andy. He does the, the podcast and stuff for Jomas. That was pretty cool. But I'm like, all right, cool, I shoot two under. This dude was three under. I had John behind me at even, and then Dave. Second round, we start on hole, let's see, eight, nope. Let's see, which what is before the ABs? Five. We start on five. And John bogeyed, other John birdied, and then I parred. So then it was like... All right, well, we're all in this. Like we're all right here, and it was kind of, kind of just, we were going. Uh, I remember hole 13, literally a 138 foot hole. That's where I thought I lost it. I threw a shot I didn't throw in practice. I went out of bounds. Had to go to the drop zone. Actually, 11, 12, 13. I, I thought when I, lo I thought I lost it. Let's see, 11. I hit first avail. Like, absolute first available. Almost had a crazy par save, though. 12, bad bogey. Just didn't get up and down. And then 13 was just an awful tee shot. But then I birdied 14. That's when I was like... So, 14, we were waiting for a second. And, uh... So, I was just sitting there, just trying to get right. You gotta get your mind right. And 14, I birdied. Which, if you could see, for 14... Nobody else birdied it in the second round. It's tough. It's an incredibly hard hole, and I absolutely parked it. Sounds like, cool, we're back in it. Uh, I can't remember what the scores were. I think we, I think I took a one lead right here on John. Yeah, I think it was me and John. And then uh, 15, par. It's just... I tried this, like, super sneaky route and didn't work. 
16 was a bad bogey. You can't miss left. I went out of bounds left. Can't do it. Just can't do it. Can't make the dumb mistakes. 17 was straight. 18 birdied. I birdied at 18 both rounds. Had a good putt on this, I believe. And then we played one through four. Yep, one through four. And I just parred out. And that's why I felt like I didn't really take the win. But it was like... I was I was just playing match play at that point and just trying to stay one ahead and one ahead and uh, I just happened to take the dub. That was pretty neat. My first advance win ever. Oh, I forgot to show my uh, the trophy for Rock City Open. Look how sick this thing is. Bruh, tell me that's not the coolest trophy you ever seen. Yes, that was dope. Um, yeah, cool, cool. Second win. Uh, how we get back here? Then we go RFDO. Man, and this one hurt. This one hurt bad. I was doing. I was practicing. This is probably the most disc golf I've ever played leading up to RFDO, because I knew the significance of it. I knew it was becoming a, a silver event this year or next year. So I was like, all right, well, I got to I got to get cracking. So I played a ton of disc golf leading up to this. I felt good. But my first round of Parma shot a plus 13, I think. It was just it was unbelievable. It was probably the worst disc golf I've ever played in my entire life. I shoot a plus 13. Like the dudes I played with this one dude, he was tripping. And it was just not an enjoyable experience. First round. And uh, second round, shoot a plus one. Like, it just it just happens like that. Like, you wake up. Like, I was up. I was up early. I was getting warmed up. It's whatever. But it's just first round, man. Something was just something was just not right. But second round. Second round, I shot a plus one. Where are we at? Probably way towards the bottom. Plus one. And this is when I was actually getting birdies. I don't think I even birdied first round. Let's see how far down we got first round. Tie for 32nd. I had one birdie on hole 1A, which is actually pretty sick. So the night before this, actually, on 1A, I spent an hour in the pond looking for a buzz. And I got it. And it paid off. But I shot a plus 13. Just absolutely unbelievable. I shot a plus one second round. Third round, I'm like, all right, I got to score. Like, it's just, I have to score. It's Shadow Pines. It's very scorable. I'm good at playing Shadow Pines. Like, I know I'm good at playing Shadow Pines. And look at, like, it was such good conditions to score. Look at MA1, we have a bunch of thousand rateds. And then play with Tyler. That was that was fun playing with Tyler and uh, Christian and Alex. That was a good card. Uh, Tyler convinced me. Our last hole was 13. Tyler convinced me to throw. Uh, go for it. Because, like, what do you got to lose? This was, like, right on the cash line. Plus 15 was cash line. I throw into the pond. Terrible upshot from the drop zone. Or from where I went out. I had a cr banged a crazy like 55, 60 footer maybe for to say my bogey, but it was just so disappointing. Like that one, you like don't even want to play second round or the second day, but you just gotta get it done. It's just bad finish overall. Then we go to Rock Ames. Rock Ames, Widener. I feel good at Widener. Whole scores. Let's see what we got here. First round. Oh, look at that. Jim Maloney, lead card. Rob was shredding. Minus four. This one, literally, hole two. We, I started on hole two with uh, Dylan. I saw Dylan ace three. That was sick. Um, hole two, my tee shot maybe went 30 feet off the tee, and I threw it right into the ground. And then I threw my up shot 
out of bounds deep. So I'm like, this is it. Like, I'm going to have another nightmare first round, and my tournament's over. But then we just parred it out. We just played the pars. Birdied 11. That was a, such a good birdie. Um, birdie 12 with the forehand. Had the forehand work in. Birdie 16. 16 was very soft in that position. They had it. And they had this Mando. And, uh, but it was still like, I think it was like 280 maybe. I don't think that 305 is right. But it's like, all right, cool. A lead card. So what do I do? I let my highs get too high. I uh went to McDonald's in between. Well, we were cooking out. But I took a drive to McDonald's and uh, just jamming out. Just singing my, singing my lungs out. Singing my vocal cords out. And uh, got my let my high get way too high. And uh, then we come back down to earth. Wasn't focused. I was tripping because I was on lead card. I'm not going to lie. Because Rob was shredding. Malachi was shredding. And then Casey threw the hardest forehands I've ever seen in my life. So, yeah. Then we drop all the way down here. And we just started to decide to absolutely tweak out. Look, I was doing fine. Par's fine, but the bogeys are not. So back here is when I decided, like, I need to push. Like, I need to push to do something. Because also, in the live scoring, they had the the pars off. So it looked like I was more over par than I was. So I was like, I got to score. And then I had just didn't putt. This wasn't good. Was not good at all. John was absolutely shredding. One, two, three, four. He was five under, and then bogeys. So John had John had the good shot to. Let's see if he had one, two, three, four bogeys. He could have been second place. He could have pushed for first, even. Then the last tournament of the year was the Autumn Bond Classic. This one I could have won. Definitely could have won this. Uh, let's go. To, I don't actually remember a lot. Let's see. <laughs> this is how. So this one, the wind, beyond crazy. And if you're playing Bond, like, trying to score in that wind is nuts. Also, Tom eagling this in that wind was nuts. But it's like, we oh, we start on six. I birdie six, so that was sick. But then I don't get another birdie the rest of the round. It was just like I was throwing stupid shots, just, just not, just not even thinking with my brain. I played with John too. Uh, he, uh, yeah, we won't look at <laughs> we won't look at John's score. Then second round, we were playing whites, so it's like, all right, you gotta score from the whites. You have to. Didn't score. Just didn't score. So basically, next year. I'm trying to get, trying to level out these. Get some more ones. That would be sick. I definitely think I can compete and win for MA1. Uh, but got to become more consistent. Can't be having two flip-flop rounds. And uh, just got to get better. Got to get the putt better. The putt costs a lot of tournaments. Get the putt better. Put, put in the work. That would be good. Uh, maybe move to MPO eventually. We'll see how the season starts. We'll see how I'm playing, but may, may make the move up just to see just to see how it is. But we gotta start playing more consistent. But yeah, that's gonna do it for today, man. Uh, that's gonna be Vlogmas Day 13. Appreciate you guys for watching. See. You.